When babies start climbing out of their crib, it can wreak havoc on their sleep. They've learned that once they can climb out, mommy and daddy will come rushing back into their room and they've now made a game out of climbing out of the crib to avoid bedtime. So it's time to transition to a toddler bed, right? Wrong. Stay tuned for my crib hacks that will help you keep your baby in the crib for longer. owner of Slumber and Bloom. I'm your mom life bestie. I'm a pediatric sleep consultant and potty training coach. If you love tips and tricks on sleep training and potty training, then subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the bell so you don't miss a video. I am a huge advocate for keeping babies in their cribs for as long as possible. The older a child gets before you make a transition to a toddler bed, the more that he or she can understand that just because they have freedom to get in and out of their bed as they want doesn't mean that they have freedom to go downstairs at 2 a.m. and turn on the TV or open the fridge. There are many safety reasons why you should keep your child in the crib until closer to two and a half or three years old. If your child is not climbing out of the crib, then keep your child in the crib. Do not rush into making the transition to a toddler bed just because you think it might be time. So let's jump into my favorite crib hacks. Hack number one is to put a sleep sack on your child. I've also seen parents get really creative with the footy pajamas and actually just like sewing a little strip of fabric in between the legs so that their child actually can't swing their leg over the crib rail and get out of the crib. There are so many different ways of doing this and there are many, many different sleep sacks on the market. The second thing that you can do is turn your crib around so that the higher back of your crib is actually facing the front now and then what you want to do is take the crib and push it to a corner so that you have the high front and then a wall on the side and a wall on the back. So now the only option for your child to even attempt to get out of the crib is on the one side. The third crib hack is one that you really need to investigate your own crib style and make sure that you can do this safely. But what you can do is take out the metal bottom of your crib and have the mattress just sitting on the floor. I've also seen parents build this up on a little bit of a platform so that they really only have a little bit of space between the floor and the mattress as opposed to to more space that they have with the metal bottom in there. I want you to get inside the crib when your child's not looking and I want you to feel around the perimeter of the crib and make sure that there are no gaps where your child can get their hand. You wanna make sure that there is no possible way for your child to get stuck in this situation. Leave me a comment down below if you have tried any of these crib hacks. So now for some tips and considerations. Number one, you need to do a safety check. I'm sure that before your baby was born, you probably did a whole baby proofing 101 on your entire house. But I want you to do a second go around because toddlers can definitely get into things that babies couldn't and you may need to upgrade your baby proofing or toddler proofing. A lot of parents call this baby jail and that's not a bad thing. What you wanna do is take every single distraction out of your child's room, whether it's books, toys, anything that they can get into. If you need to, honestly, like I took my daughter's dresser out of her room for a while because it was just a distraction for her. She would change her clothes a million times in the night when she was only two years old and I wasn't having it. So I took the dresser right out of her room and I put it in mine. I have heard many families who have said that the only thing that they have in their child's room is their crib and that's totally Fine. This is a great time to recheck all your outlets, your blind cords, make sure that there is nothing within reach of your child. And you also want to make sure that if you are leaving any furniture in the room, that it is furniture that is bolted to the walls. I'll tell you, toddlers are climbers. They love to climb and they will literally find anything to climb. So if you have shelves or a dresser or anything in your child's room, please make sure that it is bolted to the walls. There are far too many horror stories out there. So now I wanna take a minute to talk about crib tents. And I wanna put out a disclaimer that I have never tried a crib tent before. So I'm really just basing this on what I've seen in stores and what I've heard from other people. So take it with a grain of salt. So I, my opinion is really neither here nor there with crib tents. If it is something that you want to use, then absolutely go for it. If it is something that you're not quite interested in, then don't. 
Honestly, a crib tent to me doesn't really seem any less safe than a slumber pod, and I know that a slumber pod is safe, so I'm not really concerned with safety features of a crib tent. Um, if it is something that you want to go for, I would definitely look at Amazon reviews, or if you're in the store, ask for employer reviews or something, because um, I have heard that there are some brands that are safer than others. I just, I don't know all of that information, so definitely do research on on this but I have heard of families who love their crib tents and who actually use them to keep pets out of the crib as well so that's definitely something that you may want to look into another consideration is that you need to make sure that there is nothing in the crib that your child can prop themselves up on and climb out of the crib this goes for blankets it goes for bumpers it goes for pillows and it goes for stuffed animals that might be you know racking up in your kids crib so of According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, after 12 months old, your child can have a lovey. That doesn't mean to fill the crib with every single stuffed animal that they have. After 18 months, your child can have a blanket, and after 24 months, your child can have a toddler pillow. So this may also coincide with the time where your child may try and climb out of the crib. If you find that this is starting to happen, then you wanna take everything out of the crib that you have given your child and just tell them no. Blanky all gone because you keep climbing out of the crib and you can use sign language, finished, all done. Blanky all done because you keep climbing out of your crib. Your child can definitely understand you and if you're giving them a reason why they can't have something, then they know exactly what you're talking about. The last tip that I wanna give you today is to give your child incentive. Give your child incentive to stay in the crib. This means that you want to implement a reward system. You also want to use a tot clock. If you've watched any of my videos before, then you know that I swear by tot clocks. And what I will recommend is that you start using a tot clock around the time your child is two years old while they're still in the crib and you're not experiencing any problems because then your child is going to really start learning the colors on the clock and understanding what each color means. So that by the time you do make the transition to the toddler bed, you're not introducing a toddler bed and a clock. They'll already be used to the clock and then the only thing that is new is the toddler bed. I will leave a link in the description box down below for my favorite toddler clocks. I will also leave a link for you to download my free bedtime routine cards. These are a great thing for toddlers. They're not necessarily related to climbing out of the crib, but chances are if you have a toddler, then bedtime routine cards will be a great addition to your bedtime routine because children love having a visual chart of what comes next. So make sure you download those. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications when I put out a new video. Check out these videos over here while you're waiting for my video next week and keep blooming. Mwah.